Mm. Well, thank you so much for helping my project. Uh, Absolutely. Could you say a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, hi, first of all, I'm Kushbu, and uh, I have moved here to Houston maybe uh, eight months back from India. Yes, and uh, in India, I had my startup. Uh, it was uh, known as Kanha Aerospace. Mm. Yes, and um, our main objective was to uh, bring disruptive technology like 3D printing to planets like Moon or Moon and planets like Mars. So we were mostly, that was our end goal. We started with drones, mm. that was the first vertical, since we wanted to first get a hang of 3D printing and then slowly move to uh, uh, bigger challenges also it was bootstrapped so we were low on funding <laughs> is it still going on or did you have to wind it down when you moved here i did wind it down but uh, i'm you know in a mix right now sure because uh, i'm still thinking about maybe i should get a subsidiary here and then continue the work from here, mm -hmm. if possible. So I'm in a mix whether to do that or whether to get a job, to be honest. And uh, I have both avenues open because that's my, uh, it's very close to my heart, that project. And the startup was amazing because um, I met a lot of interesting people, not just in India, but even in the US. And a lot of contacts. I actually did my master's here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, where at? Uh, from USC, okay. University of Southern California. Wow, okay. Yeah, and it was in space engineering. So <laughs> it's very close uh, to what I really want to do and uh, what my you know, goal is to actually make a difference, to be able to contribute to the space uh, as a whole because no matter how many people join, no matter what we do, it's so huge, it is so massive and it's super amazing mm. that we can all come up with great ideas, collaborate together. I feel like space will bring us closer. Right now we need it with a lot of things going on right now. I feel like humanity needs to all come together and think of a bigger uh, goal or picture as a whole. So yeah, I feel, I feel like I could be a small uh, speck in that, like you showed in the picture yeah, today. Like a little human <laughs> yeah. next to the, like the mass of Starship. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, at least uh, there's like a part, you know, like uh, yeah, even like if you're a small brick in a, a huge cathedral, you know, you feel like you're part of something really amazing, you know, you don't. I mean, you just need to feel like it's worth it, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the small, 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 small dots, they say, right? Small drops make the big ocean. That's true. Yeah, exactly. So, Put enough of them together and look what you can do. Yeah, <laughs> so we once we all work together, we can move mountains, I feel. So, yeah, that's my goal. And it's great uh, chatting with you, chatting with so many people in the Houston area. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, let's let's. I, I also have my uh, website, my blog. Oh yes, yes. We so, should uh, make a shout out for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and so, how can people get to it? Uh, yeah. So it's uh, spacedani.com. That's S P A C E Dani D A N I dot com, and um, I basically try to cover uh, where I'm go to different conferences or workshops or I meet different people and I try to cover their research, what they're trying to do, try to simplify it in a more, uh, I would say, common man terms and then try to connect it with what we study in school because I feel like uh, there is a lot of gap where people are like, okay, you're doing this, this, this. But what are we doing at school? How do we connect it? And uh, kids are not motivated. They feel like it's too difficult or it's too complicated. Mm. Uh, so breaking it down, telling them why we are doing it, how we are doing it, it's one step at a time. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do that through my blog where I'm trying to meet people, break down complicated technologies and try to make people understand what exactly it is and uh, yeah, motivate them. I have to check it out for sure. <laughs> now, Donnie, what does that mean? What does that mean? 
Uh, so my first name is Kushbu. Okay. Kushbu means good fragrance, and Dani is my surname. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yes. Right, so it's uh, it's your name. It, uh, yeah. So my my name is actually Kushbu, and uh, Dani is my family name. Family name. Yes. That's really neat. Now I had a few standard questions I ask people for this interview. I wanted to run through them with you. Okay. Uh, so first of all, did you know that NASA's plans send astronauts back to the moon? Yes. And what do you think about it? Um, I feel like it's um, it's a great initiative because they're going back to the moon. I mean, they have sent Apollo missions and uh, it's really great that they're sending it back to the moon. But I feel like they should definitely look at uh, a stop and not as a final destination. Hmm. As a, it's a stepping stone yeah. as opposed to getting stuck on the moon. Like yes. they need to go further. Yes, yes, for sure. Because uh, I know there are missions where they are sending to Enceladus and uh, they are even going to Europa. Mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like moon should be like a stop and uh, like like a halt for a break and oh, then okay. keep going further, keep going, keep going further. So yeah, it's a really great uh, thing, initiative that so many companies are coming together mm -hmm. and uh, they're helping NASA contractors, subcontractors, everybody. Uh, even there's uh, Artemis. Uh, uh, what do you say? Accords, and they oh, yes. have uh, all the countries coming together. Where whatever research they are doing, they are trying to collaborate, and um, it's not just what NASA finds or what, uh, in our case, ISRO finds. Uh, about the Chandrayaan mission, everybody is sharing, everybody is collaborating information. Mm. So I feel like it's a great first step uh, because space is for everyone. Right, and there's plenty so. enough of it to go around too. Yeah. So yeah. I hope it does bring us together. Whenever you think about the future of humanity, 200 years out, do you, uh, what does it look like to, to you? Do you see us having people living on Mars and the Moon, or do you only see us still on the Earth making short trips to places? Mm, I would say we would be multiplanetary species for sure, but I believe that in the long run uh, we would get the wisdom of how to protect our planet as well. Mm. Because when we visit to different planets or when we go to different moons or even asteroid for that matter when we are mining, we realize more and more how lucky we are to be on this planet, uh, how sustainable it is even the air that we breathe we take it for granted so i feel like we would realize the value of what we are mm. so we would be on earth for sure we wouldn't leave but there would be people who would be on other planets doing greater and bigger things so to answer your question i would say both both yes <laughs> um, and if you could would you take a trip to space definitely there's no doubt about it <laughs> well, awesome. I don't even have to stop for a second to think about it. It's like I just want to go out there, experience the weightlessness, experience the the dark, you know, the black and the the dark matter, the black background with stars and with mm. planets. And I don't know, and looking back at Earth, I mean, so many astronauts have described that blue dot is just amazing. It brings you another sense of satisfaction. And I don't know, I just want to experience that. Uh, you know, taking my breath away. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, it will be amazing to see for sure. Absolutely, yeah. Well, Krishpu, thank you so much for participating in my project. It was such a pleasure to get to talk to you. Thank you, thank you so much. It was nice uh, talking to you and um, sharing my views. On <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. So, thank you.